Welcome back everybody. Today I want to have just a little fun. I have a pretty simple mandala planned out that I think is going to be great for beginners. The colors I used, however, y'all, there's nothing simple about these. One of y'all tagged me in a photo and I took it as a challenge. I got out my mandala brainstorm. I found the right colors. I made a design. All that's left to do is show you how it turned out. Uh, let's go have some fun, you guys. Now I'm going to make a long teardrop. To do that, I use my dotting tool to make a big puddle of paint. Then I use a little one to kind of drag it all the way out. <laughs> you can move that paint anywhere you want it. It takes practice, but you can do it. In case you're wondering, I am using this Liquitex Blow Aid to thin down my thicker paints. It really does make it easier to drag that paint around the rock. When you're dealing with these long teardrops and swooshes, you really need a little help at making it, well, flow. <laughs> so that's all I'm doing is thinning this out a little bit to make my life easier. <laughs> I just slowed this video down to real time because I want to make sure any beginners watching this see how slow I'm actually doing these swooshes. Y'all, when I first started dotting, I had no idea. I seriously, even the name suggests you should rush. I was really trying so hard to do these fast swooshes thinking the faster I did it, the better, you know? Not the case. I'm actually kind of embarrassed to tell you how long it took me to realize I needed to slow down. Anyway. These videos are sped up and I wanted to make sure you knew that. If you want to slow them down, here's how. And now that you know how to slow it down, I'm going to speed it back up. My swoosh didn't go as far as I wanted, so I'm gonna use this embroidery, y'all, to drag it out a little bit longer. I think it's the paint, but that's okay, we can fix it. <laughs> Uh-oh, that one's trouble. Gonna have to totally redo this one. I'm gonna wipe it off with this Q-tip, fix any damage that happens, and move on. It's not the end of the world. Just try to get it while it's wet. Now this is called a microblading cotton swab. Somebody just told me about these, y'all. It's really cool. It's a cotton swab on a toothpick. It's great for these little hard to reach places. I'll leave you a link down in the description if you wanna find them too. They really do make cleaning up some mistakes a lot easier. Now I'm going to make a few fine lines. 
the trick to these fine lines is to make sure that your brush just barely kisses the surface of the rock. The harder you press, the thicker the line. Now I want to make the color that looks like the inside of the kiwi. So I'm going to start with this multi-surface white and I'm going to add a couple of dips of this lime tree. When I say a couple of dips, I mean a couple of dips of my stirring tool here. Before I get started top dotting, I want to use a wet paper towel and wipe off all of my watercolor pencil marks since the stone's really good and dry. Now we can start top dotting. Now I'm gonna walk the dots. All that is is where you take your dotting tool, you dip it in the paint, and you place down your first dot. We'll call that the big dot. And then you keep dotting behind it, and with any luck, your dots are gonna get smaller and smaller. The only time you re-dip your paint is when you're ready for that big dot again.
Okay, you guys know that I'm about to glitter those wet dots and I just wanted to pop in and say it is best practice to wait until your paint is dry first. That way you don't mess up all your hard work. Anyway, you know me, yellow. <laughs> All right, we have our brainstorm transferred over to our rock. It is ready to go. I can't wait to see this one dry. All right, we're gonna let it dry. We're gonna sign the bag, let it dry again, and then we're gonna add some resin. If you wanna see how I resin my rocks, check out this video right here. Wow, would you guys look at what the resin did to this thing? Y'all, I was kinda on the fence about it, but now that I see it resined, I'm kinda like, wow. <laughs> I like it, I think it's fun to be a little wild and crazy sometimes. You guys, let me know what you think. I'm gonna go and list everything in the description. If I miss something, check my website. I promise you're gonna find it somewhere. <laughs> I'm also gonna list a couple of beginners videos right here that I did a while back. Go give them a watch, and until next time, rock on.